Hey guys, welcome back for another bath bomb demo. Okay, so this one I have tonight is from the Sunflower Soapery and I'm really excited to try these bath bombs because I haven't ever had one from them before. And this one is just such cool colors and it's got this awesome copper luster on top and it's got little bones, it's so cool. And the name of it is Mr. Bones, so I love that. Um, this in the middle is also, it's bubble frosting. I didn't know that when I opened it. I wasn't sure, but it did say actually on the bottom of the bath bomb. Um, so it's scented in ripe red berries and creamy vanilla. So, and it does smell like that. It's kind of a sweet berry scent, but, um, so this scent was right up my alley and it's just such a pretty, pretty bath bomb. Now it says on the package, if you want it to float, then you need to take the bubble frosting out and then do it as a bubble bar secondly. Um, I'm gonna try and do that. I am afraid that I'm gonna mess up the bomb though. So um, I wanted to show it to you intact though because it is so, so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna try and do that and um, I hope I don't break it. And I guess I'll just, I'll be back in a second. If that doesn't work, I may come back and it looks like this if I don't think I'll be able to do it without breaking it or um, I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, give me a second and um, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Hang on. All right, guys, I was successful at getting the bubble frosting out. Um, all I did was I took a knife and I kind of just went around the edges. Like I kind of just like took the knife vertically and went down the edges and then it just kind of popped out. So um, I will do that secondly, but I did want to go ahead and do this and hope that it floats because um, I think it looks like it's going to have a pretty color um, kind of some bath art with it. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that and um, then we'll do the bubble frosting part. So let's go ahead and get it in the water. I wasn't thinking because if I was, then I wouldn't have filled up the tub as much as I did considering that I'm going to have, um, should have a good many bubbles. So um, I might not crumble it under the running water like the directions say. I might just kind of squish it in my hands and then when I turn on the jets, obviously we'll see how many bubbles we can get. But um, I think that's what I may have to do. I love coffin bombs and if you didn't um, kind of get the Mr. Bones theme goes with the skull theme um, and the decorations around the tub I thought that that was cool so I'm gonna try and keep it a little themey if I can because I told you guys last time that we're gonna have some more skull demos and I think skull bombs are really cool too so That'll be fun. Okay, so this smells really good. And um, so I did, I did <laughs> right after I popped off the bubble frosting, I did check her, um, her Etsy shop and she does have these available right now. Um, and she's got several of hers still available. Not all of them. I think one of the ones that I have, the one with the spider on it, it wasn't on there. Um, but um, definitely go check hers out if you think you might want to get some because I do think that hers probably sell out rather quickly. I don't know if she's restocked them or if this was just her original batch. I haven't, once I grabbed mine, I haven't really been um, paying a lot of attention, but um, I would definitely go check them out. is so pretty and that gray is a really cool color because it looks like concrete This water is really, really getting bright. It's like a 
reminds me with the foam it looks kind of like it'd be like a witch's cauldron green or something like that it's a cool Halloween color So Mr. Bones coffin's going kind of slow, but, um, you know, I said it felt really, really sturdy. So, you know, I guess that makes sense. It must have been packed really, really tightly. She makes one sturdy coffin, that's for sure. I've never really seen one like this. It's just, just not moving at all. The thing is, guys, is you don't want to ever take your eye off a coffin bomb because you never know when it's going to split and go under, and that's the best part, and you never want to miss that. That's going to split. It might just sink. That's so awesome. Oh, well. Oh, I think, I don't know, did it just split right then? I'm gonna have to just see. Oh yeah, it split. Finally. That's so awesome. I still got some, ooh, let's turn it over. I enjoyed that you guys okay let's go ahead and check out the color of the water because that's just gonna make it if nothing else it's gonna make it a little more bright look at the shimmer on that water I know that you guys can see that especially over here where's my finger right here <laughs> um, over here and that little foam and the light and over here oh wow it's so pretty okay let's go ahead and take a look Oh, it's so bright. Oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. It's gorgeous. I wonder if all of them have this um, this much sparkle in them. I bet they do. So pretty. I think what you guys are seeing is the color I'm seeing. So that's awesome. Okay, well, um, let me go ahead and, um, and this is, that's just foam over here now. I think that's... And that's pretty much gone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the um, the bubble frosting, and I'm gonna do that um, this to the bubble frosting too. Like I said, I don't have um, I don't have that much room for bubbles, so I'm just I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna run any more water in the tub. So um, and it'll get mixed up plenty with the jet. So that's just what I'm gonna do. And over here we've just got a few more little coffin sides that are just hanging on. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the bubbles and see what they look like. So hang on a sec. All right, here's what's left of Mr. Bones. He is pretty much intact. I love his little bones, they're so cute. I know those have to be edible. It makes you wanna pick them off and eat them, but we're not gonna do that. And I bet you that this little skull is so, I kinda of wanna keep him. I do, I wanna keep him, so I'm gonna put him over here. Okay, so we are going to just squish up the bubble frosting. It's gonna be fun. Because I'd be doing this under running water anyway, so it's okay to squish it up. Very soft. It's kind of fun. Looks like I dropped a piece here. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're gonna turn on the jets and see what we got. And this is, is definitely, um, I can tell the scent's kind of stirring up in the air just with turning the bubbles on, and that's awesome. That means it's a great scent. It's probably going to linger in the bathroom after the bath is over. creamy I can tell they're the really like thick creamy ones that look kind of like they look like whipped cream <laughs> okay well I think you guys can tell what they look like so I'm just gonna get let me get just a little bit closer we'll look at them Mr. Bones bath from the Sunflower Soapery. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that I enjoyed it. So there's a lot of that gold luster left down in the bottom and that's not a big deal. It's gonna rinse right down. But it does show you that there was so much in there. It was so much more sparkly than even you guys could see on the surface, which was awesome. And there really wasn't any to stick to my skin because it was just really super fun and I love that. Um, the watercolor was so pretty. The scent is lingering around in my bathroom, so that's nice. Um, it was also really, really soft. I looked at the ingredients a little bit closer um, after I got out of the tub and it did have cocoa butter in it, so I don't need a lotion or anything like that. I'm just really excited to try the rest of her coffin bombs too, so if you're interested, definitely go check out her Etsy shop. I will have all those links listed down below. And I just hope you guys join me for my next demo and I thank you guys for watching as usual and I guess I'll just see you back here next time. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.